Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and by a very popular request today, we're finally going to potentially answer the question, how many whole chickens can you eat? Yes, for years I have been getting the question, Joel, how many whole chickens can you eat? Joel, how many rotisserie chickens can you eat? Joel, how many roasted chickens can you eat? Which is all the exact same thing. So today, I was at Walmart, and I happened to find some beautiful roasted chickens on sale. In fact, I bought 11.4 pounds of whole chickens. So we're gonna see if I can eat all of that. And if I can, well, maybe we'll throw in some dessert. But that, let's get to it. It should be a lot of fun, it should be very interesting. And let's see if I can eat all these whole chickens. So, so I'm just gonna keep this super simple. I'm gonna take these chickens, I'm gonna wrap them in tin foil, and I'm gonna put them in the oven. But in case you wanna watch, welcome. Chicken number one. These are some big birds. One eternity later. We got our lovely looking whole chickens in front of us here. Looking pretty good. So yeah, essentially we're gonna eat these chickens. If I'm feeling up to it, I have a pecan or pecan pie for dessert. This one thing weighs almost two pounds itself. So total with the 11.4 pounds chicken, but we'll say 11 pounds. And if we eat that, it's ish 13 ish pounds. Yeah, I know there'll be some bones and stuff, but it's just it's part of the whole chicken. It's what you get when you do a whole chicken challenge that you guys asked for. So I have a couple sauces. Here I purchased a uh, Diana sauce. It's like a barbecue sauce, the chicken rib version. If you've never had it, it's pretty tasty. I like it uh, for chicken. It's a little uh, sour, a little acidic, but very, very sweet. Sauce on that plate. Probably a big pile out. Probably use it the most. This might be one of a lot of sauce. We do have some uh, jerk. Some jerk barbecue sauce, actually. Whoops. Not the most common thing that comes from uh, Camp 31. I've done a few videos there. It's actually very spicy. Very, very spicy. I have some uh, Louisiana. Louisiana hot sauce. Pretty standard. I really like it. Generally what I do is I take barbecue sauce and I put the Louisiana hot sauce right on it. Just add a little bit of heat to that sweetness. And then last, I'm not sure if I'm really going to use it, but I do have a, it's the Anchor Bar, which is like a famous buffalo wing originating bar. Um, this is the hotter recipe. So it's, I actually bought it hoping it was like buffalo sauce, but it's not. It's just kind of like a hot wing sauce. So we'll see if we get into that. But anyway, everybody, um, that's pretty much about it. I guess we'll just get started here momentarily. It looks really good. All right, there you go. Time's officially going. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, let's get started on some whole chickens. So, I'm not a big skin person. Some of you guys may know that. Here, I'll show you some, I'll show you some chicken. Looks good. Give me some sauce. All right, let's get eating. Wouldn't that have been funny? I mean, it wouldn't really have been funny. But imagine when I bit into it and it wasn't even cooked yet. I wouldn't, I mean, it's possible. And no, because I'm sure this question will come up. People always like to say nothing is spot. You know, the sauce. None of the sauces are sponsoring me. I wish they would. If any sauces want to sponsor me, feel free to let me know.
closer. I'm trying to push this thing a little bit more forward. Well, you guys can't even see the timer anyway, but it's going. It's right there. I don't think you can see it. Did not bad job cooking it. Not the best, but it's all been juicy so far. I haven't had to really have any water yet. I mean, obviously, I'm using sauces, but you know, nonetheless. So that's one chicken down. I will have some water. We're eight and a half minutes in. I'm re-upping on the sauces here. All that Diana sauce. More of that Louisiana. Almost done the second chicken. Almost. One thing I don't have in my possession is ketchup. Because having ketchup easily adds an extra 20 horsepower. It's always ketchup time, folks. Always ketchup time. All right, time to uh, re-up on the sauces. Got the good old Diana sauce and be, I'm already like halfway through that dang bottle. I think I'm short of sugar. I'll put some hot sauce in here in just a moment. It's good, but it's better with the hot sauce now. Funny growing up, chicken in a hot sauce. It's not so much of a Canadian thing, to be honest with you. Definitely an influence from the neighbors from the south. And generally, I will say, the south has some some good taste, some mighty good taste, y'all. I like that food from the south quite a bit. All right, last chicken. All right, at this point, my thoughts, it's a lot of chicken. Don't get me wrong. 
I like chicken. But it's a lot of chicken. Woo! I don't think I've ever just sat down. Well, I guarantee I haven't just sat down and eaten three whole chickens before. I've definitely sat down eating one whole chicken, done that a number of times. It's been a while since I've eaten anything in a large quantity. Let's re up that sauce, probably the last time. There's all, and whenever you eat something like chicken or bones involved, there's always somebody's like, you don't clean them. Bruh. I do. However, like there's some things that, like for me, skim. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I just don't see skin. Something worth eating. If you want to eat your skin, by all means do it. You can have mine too. I'll give it to you for free. <sighs> if it's like fried chicken or something, generally, I mean, you know, with the with the batter, I eat it. Because that's kind of part of it. That's the whole fried part. But something like roast chicken, not for me. By the way, everybody, I hope wherever you are, hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're safe. I hope your loved ones are safe. It's pretty crazy times out there. Love hearing from you in the comments. There's a lot of great familiar faces on the page, which you'll see very recurrently. And we love each other. We are very, very a tightly knit kin and I appreciate all of you I really do here we go guys this is the last piece of chicken right here I'll show you all that sopping up all that sauce all right got that everybody here we go Also, if you're curious, how do you eat a drumstick in one bite? Obviously, just take your mouth. It's gonna sound weird. Just don't let it sound weird. You guys know what I'm talking about. Take your mouth, open your mouth, put the chicken leg in your mouth, like this. Bite down. Teeth to the bone. Just scrape it. Scrape it up. You will get there's one little bone in there, like that. So once it's and you're holding it here, just reach in, grab that little bone out, and the rest is edible. There's a little cart cart cartilage, cartilage bit, but I actually would, I rather would eat cartilage over skin, just preference. Mm -hmm. um, I guess there's a little, you know, there's a little piece left in the soft. There we go. So three whole chickens. And my phone screen's dark. I don't know, I'm guessing, judging by my camera, probably about 29 minutes, 28, 29, maybe 30 max, but I'm thinking about like 28, 29. Um, but yeah, so I hope you liked that. Let me just wipe my hands off very momentarily because I don't want to get chicken juice on the pecan pie. And let's dive into that pecan pie because I'm excited about that. I'm gonna have to touch my camera with my juicy chicken hands. One sec. Pecan pie. All right, I'm back. I took the uh, I took the tray with me because it's not worth leaving it in front of me here while I eat this pie. 
My hands smell like soap, not like freaking chicken juices. And I'll see this freaking pig ham pie. It actually was a lot of chicken. Like, I mean, it didn't look like that much at first. This, these are my thoughts. I was like, buying it, I'm like, geez, this is like 11 plus pounds. Okay, like that's quite a bit. But oh, it won't be too bad. Once I saw it, I'm like, eh, it doesn't look that much. But like, eating all that chicken at once, that was a lot of chicken. So, count on pie, 850 grams. You know what the scary thing is about this though? Guess how many calories are in this one pie, which is like, it's a, I think it's a 12 inch pie probably. It's like this, about the size of a dinner plate, just a little bit smaller than a dinner plate. This thing, has 3,840, 3,840 calories, work mental math. Look at those, look at the nutrition facts on that. For an eighth of a pie, an eighth of a pie, 460 calories. That's damn stupid right there, that's insane. Con pie, why are you so calorie dense? yet so good. I would say my favorite pies are coconut cream pie. Um, I like chocolate cream pies. I'd say cream pies and then pecan pie. Pecan, pecan. I generally say pecan. Pecan, pecan, depends where you are. But hell right. One of my favorite pies. I, uh, some people are also like big, I don't know. They're like, that's, uh, this are the pilots like outside the shell. Let's see like a, like a bump in the middle. Kind of weird. I wonder if that's normal. See that? Um, but a lot of people really like pie crusts. Again, I could actually give two rats about a cry plus. I don't give a crap about the pie crust. I only care about the filling. So there's many a times where I hear people be like, oh, such a good crust. I'm like, give me more of that filling, y'all. Yeah, cream pies, and then a pecan pie, pecan pie, whatever you want to call it. Which is essentially the same as butter tarts, too. So like butter tarts or um, raisin pie or butter tart pie or butter pie, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what you else you call it. Basically the ones that are just chocked full of sugar. <laughs> I love sweet things. This is there's so much sugar in that. Mm, mm, mm. There's more weight by sugar in this than anything else. The second ingredient is flour. So the second most weight is the fresh. I love the look of that. The look of pecan. And some people really like pie with ice cream. I'm a little bit more of a purist in that sense. You could understand that. I'm a little bit more of a purist in that sense. Whereas I don't know. Pie and ice cream. It doesn't have to have ice cream by any means. I like just pie. And I like ice cream too. But all of them separate. And I don't feel that you should have to have ice cream with a pie. Because the pie should be good enough that you don't need ice cream. So when I went down to South Carolina, I went to Charleston, I went to Myrtle Beach. I was talking to people from South Carolina before I went down there. I was like, what kind of foods do I have to try? And they said, and I quote, pecan pie, pecan pie, some barbecue, um, fried green tomatoes are pretty unique, and then I boil peanuts. That's unique as well. And 
And so when I went down there, oh, and shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, which I did have as well. So I had the shrimp and grits, which is good. It was unique. You can't buy grits in Canada because grits are not a Canadian thing, it's an American thing. Same as sweet tea. Y'all ain't getting no tea up here in Canada. Every time in the States, I always buy at least one, not two. I tend to buy the unsweetened tea and then I add the like, splendor to it to sweeten it up, but I like that stuff. Whereas up here, the only like iced tea you get, there's like a brisk or a nest tea, like that kind of thing. It's not real, it's fake. Um, where was that? Oh, yeah, South Carolina. So I tried the pecan pie. It was good. What I, I only tried it one at one place, but what I most noted from it is, it's like this is a very small layer of pecans, pecans. But down there, the one I had, there was a lot of pecans, a lot of pecans. And like I Googled it, like where's the best place to get pecan pie? I don't remember what it's called, but it's in Charleston. And uh, it was good. I found it again, more pecans, and I'd say less sweet than one like this. When I tried the barbecue, I had an amazing brisket sandwich down there in Charleston. Um, I tried the boiled peanuts. I like them. The first place I tried them was actually in a gas station. I asked the lady, I was like, what the heck are these? She was like, try one. So I did. And uh, I like them a lot. Basically, they're pe or peanuts, which are boiled in shell until it all gets really soft. And it's in a brine. So there's, there, it's like you get that fatty peanut and you get saltiness. Um, I also then, every time I use, well, a lot of times we go to the States and I'll buy the cans. Because in like the northern states, that's the best you can get, but you can buy the cans of them. Um, so I buy them, like the spicy one. But uh, yeah, I didn't get to try the fried green tomatoes. But it wasn't bad, so I have to go back. But that anyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. So yeah, chicken and pecan pie. Love the pie. Chicken was really good as well. Sauces, I picked some pretty good ones. Don't like knives, kids. This is very dangerous. But it's pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, I picked some good sauces. Again, it's not product placement, it's just there. Uh, like the chicken overall. There's a lot of chicken, a lot more than I thought it was. Whew. So anyway, that's about that. Uh, so that'll be until next time. Say happy, healthy, hungry. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you for rocking the gear. I see y'all pictures. You guys rock. And uh, that's about it. Have a lovely day. Don't do what I do. We appreciate you. Comment down below. Share the love, everybody. Like this video. And uh, until next time, you know what to do. I already said that, so I'm just going to go. The food's going to start to hit me here pretty quickly.